sellout crowd last night to watch the Red Sox and Yankees. It is Cutter Crawford on the bump tonight. Got beat up a little bit on Sunday night on the road at the Dodgers, but the previous three starts he was outstanding. And against the Yankees in his career and in his two starts this year, he's been excellent. He has been. What a perfect first name for a guy who throws a lot of cutters. 112 strikeouts against only 29 walks. Get ready for some booze. Here's Alex Verdugo. And it's swung on and hit high in the air, deep to right field, moving back. Abreu still going back, and it's off the base of the wall in right. Verdugo with a sharp turnaround first. Now he'll get back, but a leadoff single for Alex Verdugo, who's swinging a better bat lately. And here's Juan Soto now. He's hot again, 13 of his last 29, batting 307 with 26 homers. On base machine, waits for a 2-1 and lifts it to right center and deep. They're waiting for it in the seats, all the way back to the wall, and it's gone. With a two-run homer here at Fenway. And the Yankees get the night started on the right foot. They're up 2-0. Home run number 27 for Soto, and he remains red hot. And so does Aaron Judge, who steps up to the plate. Swing and a blast. Deep left field. This one's headed for Matt Pike. It is long gone. Out of the ballpark. Aaron Judge coming in hot. And the Yankees hit back-to-back -back home runs in the first inning. And that is homer number 37. And the greatest thing about that is the whole back row of the monster section turned around, went to the thing to see where that landed. So already two home runs against Carter Crawford. Back-to-back -back home runs wow. by Soto and Judge. Third time this season that Soto and Judge have hit back-to-back -back home runs. One down for Abreu. We have the big pinch double to drive home the tying run in last night's game in the eighth inning. And the 1 0 swung on, driven deep to right center field, back by the wall, and it is gone! Right over the bleacher bar to the first row of the center field seats. William Abreu is homer, a line shot just high enough to get over the 18 foot wall, and the Red Sox are on the board. 3 1 Yanks. Number nine for William in his 33rd RBI. Balls are flying. Here's Yoshida had the game winning hit last night when he knocked in three runs. Right on cue, it's his first career hit against Strowman after going 0 for 6 to start. Yoshida is aboard with a knock, a five game hit streak for him. Here's Rafi now, 296 with 23 homers, 64 RBIs, and on fire. Off the fist, muscled towards left center field, and that gets down towards the gap. The speedy Grisham gets there, but Yoshida's on his way to third. First and third, still one out. And here's Tyler O'Neill, who's six of his last 13, hitting a 268, 20 homers, and 39 knocked in. Swinging a drive left center field. On the go is Grisham toward the gap. He dies, he can't get it. He gets by him. It goes all the way to the wall. One run is scored. Raffi being waved home, and the tying run crosses the plate. The throw is way up the third baseline. A two run double. Tyler O'Neill and the Red Sox have tied it just like that at three. What a wild start tonight at Fenway Park. Second inning starting a whole lot better than the first inning for Cutter Crawford. Two away. Ball and two strikes on Cabrera. Matt Damon and Casey Affleck kind enough to join us in the broadcast booth tonight. And Cabrera lifts one down the line. Abreu towards the corner all the way to the track. Oh he leaps up into the crowd and he held on. No way. Does he got it? He held on. Seemingly for the catch. Still waiting for confirmation on it. If he dropped it, it's a home run. If he held on, it's an out. And now the first base wow. umpire out to look. It was Nick Marley, and he's going to say home run. He could not mm. hold on. Oh, my he, goodness. That was he took a hell of an there. effort. Oh, my That's God. That's a great effort. And it felt like for a moment he had that secured. Cabrera goes yard for already the fourth home run of the game between the two clubs. Boy, Abreu's been wow. busy tonight, huh? No kidding. The Yankees have the lead. They hit three home runs their first time through the order. And Stroman's getting hammered. First two batters have reached, and here's Jaron Duran. So Hamilton at third, Rafaela at second. Four three Yankees here on the bottom of the second. Nobody out. And to center field. Get down. Get down. It will get down for a base hit. Hamilton had to wait. He will come yeah. home to score on the throw. Duran takes second base. On the third base safely, Rafaela, and this game is tied yet again. Infield in at first and third, back at second and short. The pitch swing and a fly ball. Shallow right center field. Grisham coming on, still coming hard. He makes a running catch, oh. and the runners hold. He reached down, grabbed it off his kneecap for the out. He runs all the way back to the infield with a ball. Wow. You get it with nobody out. I think the way that Grisham, though, had to charge in was kind of stumbling. Yeah. I think Rafaela could have scored, and he's just been called out at third. 
Did they have a hidden ball trick on? Yes, they did. Oh, they my. tagged Sadon out at third. Wow. Third baseman to get the put out. Don't see that very often. So they get two quick outs, and here's Yoshida with a runner at second. Swing, there's a line drive. Base hit in the left center field. The Red Sox take the lead as Duran rounds third and scores easily. 5 4 Boston in the second inning. Oh, Yoshida with his fourth RBI in this series, his 29th of the year, 5 4 Boston. Cutter Crawford facing lefty Ben Rice, who also grew up a Yankee fan in Boston. He lines out into center field. A fabulous play made by Jaron Duran. He's been one of the best center fielders, one of the best outfielders defensively in baseball this year. He's a game changer for the Red Sox now that he has got his career going in this direction. He's so talented at the plate on the field defensively and with his legs on the bases. This guy has such a bright future. Verdugo takes third on the 4 3 out, and here comes Aaron Judge. Into left field. O'Neill has to play it on a hop, and that will allow Verdugo to score. Judge has his second RBI tonight, and he has tied the game at five apiece. And the Yankee catcher, a left hand batter, pushes a ground ball bunt down the third base side of the grass. Wow. Runners at first and second, still only one out. Waved on and missed. Finally got him with the sweeper. Alex Cora wants Bernardino to face the Cohasset kid, Ben Rice. And it's low, ball four. Rice stays patient, works yeah. the two out walk, bases are loaded now. For now you got the right hand batting Volpe, who has struck out and hit a fly ball to right. 0 2 to Volpe, and he went around swinging. Big pitch from Bernardino to get out of the bases, loaded jam. He's fired up. O'Neill with a two run double in the first inning to tie the game, then he walked and he drives one high to left field and deep. This one is long gone over everything. Deep into Lansdowne Street, and the Red Sox regain the lead 6 to 5. I mean, that was high enough to bring rain. He really crushed it. Tyler O'Neill with his 21st home run. Three RBIs tonight, 42 on the season, 6 5 Boston. Back to back walks for Winkowski to start the top of the seventh. Here is Glaber Torres. On the ground to the right side. Hamilton racing over with the flip to second for one. Not in time at first. Rafaela tried to turn it as fast as he could, but there was Torres sprinting down the line to beat it out. Judge on to third base. Runners at the corners and only one away in the seventh for New York. That'll be it for Winkowski with the left-hander Rice due up. Payoff pitch is lifted to center. Duran coming in. Makes the catch. Judge takes off, and the throw will not be in time. This game is tied at six apiece. The sack fly from Rice evens it up. A knock for Volpe, his first of the night. That extends the inning, and the go-ahead run is in scoring position for Grisham. Grisham hits one to Hamilton. And a bobble it, but recoils it. And that will retire the side. But the Yankees do get one run. They put the Sox ahead, did Tyler O'Neill in the fifth inning, but we're tied again at six. Swing and a high drive in the left field. This thing is back at the wall. Gone! Into the front row of the monster seats for the second time tonight. Tyler O'Neill puts the Sox ahead with a homer. It is 7-6. Red Sox. His fifth multiple home run game this season. Amazing. Here's Hamilton. Two on and one out. Hamilton sends one towards the left field corner again. Long run for Soto. And he'll have to play it off the wall. Here comes Smith. Long pulls up into third. It's an RBI double for Hamilton. 18th big league RBI for the young second baseman. And it's 8-6 to six Boston. Aaron Judge will hit with runners at first and second here in the top of the eighth inning. Yankees trail 8-6. Hard hit ball left center field. O'Neill and Duran are going to play it off the wall. Here comes Verdugo. Soto is getting the wave home. Here's the play at the plate. Soto is out by a mile. And the Red Sox will hold on to the lead. Soto ran through the Luis Rojas stop sign. And it's still Boston in front. Now in the ninth, Grisham to the plate, Jones the tying run, Jansen the elite closer, looking for one more out. Grisham lifts it in the air, deep left center field. Duran is over, O'Neal is back, and he cannot make the play! This game is tied! Grisham makes it 8-8! Eight to eight. A two-strike last breath double! And we're knotted up for the fifth time tonight! We go to extra innings. Base is loaded, one out. Here's Austin Wells. Tie game at eight in the top of the tenth. 2-2. Two -two. Towards left field, O'Neal coming on. O'Neal dives and makes the catch. Off 
from third base. Here comes Cabrera. And the New York Yankees are able to manufacture the go-ahead run. It's 9-8 to eight as Cabrera comes home. If O'Neill catches that and it isn't on the ground, that run probably does not score. And here's Torres. But Susan, like we were talking about extra innings moments ago, odds are on the road, you need more you than need one two. run. You need two. That's why they always say you need two. Torres lifts one towards left center field. That is well struck. It is off the wall. Soto is in, Judge is right behind him, and the Yankees with a big frame in the 10th. Two driven in by Torres on his first hit of the night, and it's 11 to eight New York. Can Holmes deliver one final strike? Bouncing ball up the first baseline. It's grabbed by LeMayhew, and one of the wildest games in baseball this year belongs to the Yankees in comeback fashion. 